What's happening everyone? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Brian Mello with Marty's Buick GMC and Chevrolet. And in today's video, we'll be checking out the upcoming refresh 2024 Sierra HD's much needed interior update. Now, if you're new to the channel or maybe you're just coming back from more, be sure to smash that like button and subscribe for weekly updates on all things GM. Now let's get into it. All right, so thanks to my very talented spy photographers, for the first time ever, we're getting a look at the completely undisguised interior on the facelifted 2024 GMC Sierra HD prototype, giving us a good feel for all the changes destined for the upcoming truck. Now, the interior does look identical to, or at least highly influenced by GMC's refreshed CR 1500 series trucks, which makes sense considering how great the new 1500 interior looks and the wildly positive response it received since its initial debut. The infotainment screen that we're looking at here appears to be a perfect match for the 13.4 inch diagonal touchscreen that we've seen in the 1500 trucks, while the dash layout, button arrangement, and HVAC vent placement all appear to be consistent with one of the Sierra's lower trims. Now, although we can't get a direct look at the gauge cluster in any of these photos, believe me, I zoomed in and tried, uh, but based on everything else that we're seeing here, I think it's safe to assume that the 12.3 inch fully customized digital gauge cluster will also be arriving on the 2024 Sierra HD's refresh. You know, the same gauge cluster that we're seeing in the Yukon now, the Tahoe, uh, as well as the refresh 1500 trucks. Now, one major difference that I did notice with this HD prototype, if we look right here, in comparison to the Refresh 1500, is the column shifter. I'm sure most of you have heard by now, for the 2022 Series 1500 trucks, the WorkSpec Silverado and the Sierra 1500 Pro are the only models that retain that column shifter. And I know this is kind of a, uh, a touchy topic for some people. I don't really see it as a big deal, but I know some people do. Um, now, with those trucks, in order to have that column shifter, you do have to go without the big touch screen and a whole bunch of other high-tech stuff that you just can't get. But on this HD prototype, we can clearly see that we do have that column shifter, but we also have that vastly improved and much larger touch screen to go along with it. So interesting thing to note there. You know, as of right now, we're not exactly sure if the Sierra HD's current low tier interior will still be in play on the on the refresh trucks, similar to how the 1500 series trucks are doing now, or if that column shifter is just a fixture throughout the entire Sierra HD's lineup. Or perhaps, you know, maybe the Sierra HD doesn't lose the column shifter until you get all the way up to that Denali trim or maybe the high country trim if we're talking Chevy. Uh, we'll just have to wait a bit longer to find out for sure. Now, looking real quick at the exterior of this truck, we can see that the front is wrapped in a significant amount of camouflage, which suggests to us that we can obviously expect some front fascia enhancements, uh, as well as maybe some possible tailgate and taillight enhancements. The wheels on this truck are the base wheels for the pro trim, but what's interesting here is the chrome bits around the windows, and you can see like the chrome door handles. Those would suggest to us that it's a higher than a pro level trim. And although the grill does scream Denali behind that camo, it should be noted that nearly all of the Sierra HD prototypes that have been spotted up to date, you know, in the last few months, every single one of them has been seen with a Denali grill, regardless of the trim level that's being tested. So it just may just be a way for GM to kind of like, you know, ooh, try and keep us confused and on our toes. I also noticed that, you know, we have a lack of uh, Denali running boards, which would come standard on a Denali. So that makes me think that this is probably a sub Denali configuration that we're looking at here. Now, personally, I do expect the refresh Sierra 1500's influence on the HDs to spill over to its front fascia redesign as GM does appear to be like streamlining its design language across all of its models. You know, everyone's kind of getting that same like headlight design, grill design. They're kind of just making everything uniform, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. Uh, however, I, I'm sure there will be some slight distinctions between the two, but I think that the distinctions are going to get less and less over time. Something I am sure of, however, is that the HD customers are going to be very, very happy to see that the upcoming refresh will, in fact, include that much-needed interior update that everyone has, of course, been begging for. Now, as of now, we don't have any info as far as the expected release date other than the expectation of the truck being released next year as a 2024 model, which even that could change because... Um, you know, right now we, we're in the middle of, you know, what are we at? We're in March now in 2022. Uh, normally we'd be seeing the 2023 models roll out, but we're still now just launching a refresh 2022 truck. So I'm not exactly sure how like that's all going to pan out. But as of right now, I would assume that it's going to be a 2024 uh, model year truck released 
at some point next year. Of course, as I get new info, I'll be sure to share that with all of you. So be sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any of that. As always, I'd like to thank you all for watching. If you did make it this far into the video, if you could help me out in a big way by just smashing that like button, you know, it keeps the YouTube algorithm gods happy. It's a pretty important thing to do nowadays. Be sure to check out my friends over at gmpartsdepartment.com for all your GM OEM parts needs. And I'll be sure to catch you all in the next video. Thanks again, guys, for watching and take care.